Hey, what's up everybody? My last video was about files, about how to open them. We talked about open and F open. We talked about file handles and pointer to file structs and some of the differences between those. I wanna follow that video with a quick tip that I think might be useful. I've seen students often struggle when they're trying to figure out what size of file is that they're gonna read. Obviously you can just read till you reach the end. That's what I did last time. The example I used last time basically just read a character at a time or a line at a time until you get the end. Obviously you could count up all of those, but sometimes before you ever start, you want to get an idea of how big this file is that you're going to be working with. So let's look at a couple different ways that you can get the size of a file and look at the pros and cons of each. As usual, this video is going to focus on Linux, Mac OS, basically Unix style POSIX compliant operating systems. You can find file sizes on Windows by using the get file size function or get file size X. It's perfectly okay. I don't have a Windows machine on me, so I'm not going to show you how that works, but it's not difficult. Before we dive into C, I first want to look at how you do this from the command line. Now, obviously you can use LS. That's not what I'm talking about. What I want to talk about is the stat command. For those of you that are unfamiliar with stat, stat basically just gives you the status of files or directories. It tells you a lot of different information about the file. A lot of this we're not going to go into, but one of the things that it does show you is what is the size of the file. Why do I show you this? It's because when you get into C, you're actually going to use a function of the same name. So in C, when you're writing a program, you have a stat function. In your C program, stat's going to work the same way. Basically, you pass it a struct in the file name. You say, give me the statistics, give me the status information for this file, and then it gives it to you. And so we can just grab the size out of there and print it out. Super easy. A very similar alternative to stat is fstat. And fstat works just like stat, except that instead of giving a file name, we're gonna give it a file descriptor. So this is something that, that might result from calling an open call. So if we're gonna open a file and do something with it, then we can just use fstat on that file descriptor and that might be simpler. So what happens if you're using fopen and you don't have a file descriptor, but you have a pointer to a file struct? In this case, you have two options I wanna talk about. The first, which I've actually seen a lot of people do, is to use fseek and ftel. Basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna use fseek, which says, hey, seek to the end of the file, and ftel, which tells you what the file position is, and then they seek back to the beginning. This to me feels kind of convoluted and kind of a mess, but I've seen it show up in a lot of programs. To me, this particular approach doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it feels like it's not the right way to do it. The other option is we can still use fstat, and you're saying why? Because I've got a pointer to a file struct, and I really need a file descriptor. I can't just pass that pointer to fstat. It's not gonna work. But instead, there's a function that you may not be aware of called file no. So if you call file no with a file struct, it will return the file descriptor that is inside the pointer to the file struct. And we can use that as an argument to fstat to actually get the size of the file that we opened with fopen. So that's all for today. I just wanted to be really quick, give you some pointers on how you can get file sizes a few different ways in C. I hope this is helpful in your next project and until next time, I'll see you later.